Well hello there everyone, David your friendly hairy Scotsman here, once again. Now, this time I was out and about and I was in Liddles. Um, and I was having a wee look about and uh, I found this and I thought, oh, that looks fair posh. And it is Baklava. Trying to get it. There we go. Now, deluxe baklava assortment. Uh, one serving is 20 grams, and there's 250 grams in the box. That's basically two of whatever's in here. So, an assortment of sweet delicacies made from mouth-watering phyllo pastry, nuts and syrup. Beautifully handcrafted for a delicious Mediterranean style treat. Okay, okay. Ooh, we have cashew baklava. Crisp phyllo pastry sandwiched with finely chopped cashew nuts. We have cashew bouquetage. Bouquetage? Something like that. Flaky phyllo pastry with a centre of finely chopped cashew and pistachio nuts with a light coating of syrup. My mouth is actually watering at the moment, to be honest with you. We have cashew baklava drizzled with dark chocolate, which is crispy cashew baklava drizzled with indulgent dark chocolate. We have truffle baklava, drizzled with milk chocolate. Truffle with mixed nuts, drizzled with milk chocolate. And we have cashew acebi, finely chopped cashew nuts wrapped in flaky phyllo pastry with a light coating of syrup. That that sounds so good, to be honest with you. An assortment of pastries filled with cashew, pistachios and mixed nuts, drizzled with milk and dark chocolate. Wow. Now, the ingredients of them all will take me about three weeks to read out. So, if you want to read it, I'll just stop it. If you just stop it there... And I'll move it up a bit for the bottom bit. In fact, I'll move it out a wee bit. There we go. You might be able to see that if you go full screen. And that's what's in it all. That's all your nutritional stuff. And your, your allergies. Now, I'm going to guess that if you have a nut allergy, you will not be wanting these. Now, how do you get into it? You'd think it would have a wee tear system, but it doesn't. This is where you need nails to get into it, and then be able to break the seal like that, and then we'll try and pull it out. Right. It doesn't really have a lot of smell. There's really not a lot of smell there at all. So, what, I'm not going to try one of each. I will be absolutely flying if I do that. The amount of sugar that's in here. It says, per baklava, there's 94 calories. Wow. Right. What will I try? I think I'll try this one and get it out of the box. Wow. <laughs> right, it's slightly melted. But I'm going to let you see this. 
This is the cashew baklava drizzled with dark chocolate. That's what it looks like. Now that looks like it's going to be absolutely soaking in syrup on the bottom. I'm just going to absolutely pop it straight in one at a time I think. Mm. Mm. I mm. that literally it leaves you speechless. The nuts are soft. The pastry's got just a nice flakiness to it. And the bottom of it is absolutely saturated in syrup. That is amazing. It's the only way I can describe it. The flavours combine. Wow. That is stunning. I've only had one and I am absolutely buzzing with that. That is unbelievably good. Right. Well, I know I said I was only going to have maybe one or two, but there's five different ones in here, and I tell you now, I'm going to try all five. Next, we have cashew baklava. Crisp fuel pastry sandwiched with finely chopped cashew nuts. You can see the layers of the phyllo. And again, the bottom looks like it's absolutely saturated in syrup. Straight in. Mm. <laughs> How can you actually describe this? Once again, the pastry on the top is so flaky, it is unbelievable. The nuts are soft, but they've still got texture. I know I'll be picking bits of nut out of my teeth for about the next half hour or something. That is stunning. I'm trying to think where Baklava is from. I think is it Turkey or Morocco, something round about there. Right, this is Coaching's. Oh, this one is Cashew Bookage.
which is basically a flaky phyllo pastry with a centre of finely chopped cashew and pistachio nuts with a light coating of syrup. Well I can assure you something, there's not a lot, I'd hate to see a heavy coating of syrup. As the base on this, I mean, it's literally up to about there. And it's just saturated with syrup. Going all in again I'm afraid. Wow. There's only so much you can say about this. And that is stunning. Tastes pretty similar to the rest. The pistachio's got a slightly different taste to it. Um, chocolate just gives it that wee edge as well. The overall, the overwhelming flavour is mostly the syrup that's on it. That is so good. I'll be back. Okay, let's be back again. Sorry about that, that was a job coming in for tomorrow. So, where was I? What have I had? What haven't I had? Right, I've had that one, that one, and that one. Right, so, let's go for the truffle baklava drizzled with milk chocolate, which is so unbelievably sticky. It's stickier than a stick. Look at that, the syrup's actually dripping off the bottom of that one. I think I'm actually going to bite this one because this is a corker of a size. I mean, this is probably over an inch square. Mmm. <laughs> wow. That is so different. Mm. Very chocolatey, but very nutty as well. It's almost got like an oaty texture to it, but that's the nuts. Um, there's truffle in there that holds it all together. It's drizzled with chocolate over the top with milk chocolate. That's that is a lot different because the other ones, the overall the overriding taste of it is actually the syrup. That one's more of a cocoa flavour. Um, not a chocolatey chocolatey flavour, but more of a cocoa chocolate flavour. That is so nice. I like the wee bitterness to the back of it as well. That is so good. And the only one I've got left is the cashew acabe. Like a wrinkly top on it with a phyllo, syrup on the bottom, like crushed nuts in the middle, 
all held together with syrup. It says a light coating of syrup. Again, if that's a light coating, I'd hate to see it if it wasn't. Right, I'm going to bite this one in half as well, because this is... I can actually feel the sugar rush hitting me now, and I don't usually get that. Mmm. Mmm. No. Mm-hmm. Right. The phyllo isn't quite as heavy on that one. There's a lot less layers. The nuts are a lot finer uh, grind and it's all down the side of my teeth at the moment, into my gums. It's very sweet. The nuts are really soft but still got a bit of bite about them. Tell you something little, you've done well getting them in. I will definitely be looking for more. So, I'm going to vanish this now. I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to try and uh, clear some of these nuts out of my mouth. And hopefully if you haven't already signed up, we'll be hitting the subscribe button and the bell. Go oh, on, it's free. The like button's here as well. It really helps the channel. So, I'll vanish this now. Hopefully talk to you all again very, very soon. See you later. Take care. See ya.